Today is December the 8th, 2023. This is Carmen bringing you your daily Bloodborne Remaster updates. There is no news on a Bloodborne Remaster today, uh, but yesterday I forgot to mention Hellblade 2 with the Game Awards. Uh, it looks great, you know, I mean, I really love the first one, and I won't, probably won't be able to play it at launch because it'll only be on PC and Xbox, but uh, I mean... Game looks great. Graphics look good. Uh, I wish they had shown me some actual gameplay that wasn't getting like cut away from, but solid enough. Uh, so I didn't mention that. That game looks good. Everything else, I, I think I got everything else. Um, but the first Final Fantasy 16 DLC came out today. And what do I, Final Fantasy 16's number one op, have to say about this DLC? I have played it on regular and Final Fantasy mode. Played it through twice, got all the trophies for it. So what do I have to say about it? It was it was solid. It was okay. Uh, it didn't fix a lot of my issues. In fact, it didn't really fix any of my issues. Uh, they only added like two, two, two new enemies, and then two reskins of previous enemies uh, that had their move sets tweaked a little bit, and then a new super boss. Now the new super boss was awesome. He was he was great. Uh, and they added two uh, two entirely new enemies, uh, and they were actually no one of them I think is a partial reskin of uh, Liquid Flame, but the other one I think is completely unique. So the new enemies they added were solid. Uh, Omega, the super boss, he was awesome. Uh, like his, in his fight theme, the OST, oh it was great. Uh, the fight itself was great. However. We're still fighting the same flowers. We're still fighting the same fallen enemies. We're still fighting the same dogs. We're still fighting the same birds. We're still fighting all the same enemies that we've killed hundreds of thousands of. And I'm still picking up wire right and magic ash and stuff I'll never use. So, the enemy variety is not fixed. However, the DLC is fun for what it was worth. The story was much better than the back half of that game's story. Um, let's see. They didn't add any new abilities. Uh... No new, like, actual combat abilities got added. I'm looking for stuff to get added to that central wheel in the uh, AP screen where you buy, like, lunge and stuff like that. More basic mechanics, like DMC-style pause combos in particular. Uh, so they didn't add any new combos. They didn't add any new game mechanics, and they didn't fix the enemy variety. But the story was solid, and the bosses were pretty fun, especially uh, Omega. He was really good, and he was genuinely challenging. Uh... Yeah, I died. I didn't die on Final Fantasy mode, but on my first time fighting him, I died. That's I think that's the only time I've ever died in FF16 was to Omega. So, uh, it was fun. Does it does it fill me with confidence in the Rising Tides DLC? Not particularly. Not not particularly. My bad. I'm I'm speaking fast and my brain can work. Uh, no, not particularly. Uh, I'm still not confident that this new big zone they're adding is going to have any content in it. Uh, I'm not confident that they will add more new mechanics or that they will have any new enemies outside of the Tomberries they showed in the trailer. So uh, we will just have to wait and see. But I guess that's about it. So as for I think the uh, the Fumble Fantasy 16 video I mentioned, I'll hold off until I play The Rising Tides. When that comes out in the spring, then we'll make the Final Fantasy 16 video. Uh, until then, though, we will not. So yeah. That's about it. There. Oh wait, no. I forgot one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Uh, we recently found out that Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi Four has been in development for five years, and they said that it has the biggest character roster ever, with uh, characters from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Dragon Ball Super, and the new upcoming Dragon Ball Daima. Uh, so yeah, this game has been in development for a long time, and it has a huge roster to show for it. So I'm very excited. Like I said yesterday, I grew up on Budokai Tenkaichi, so it's it, I just can't wait. Anyways, that's about it. There's no news on a Bloodborne remaster today. Uh, that's been your daily Bloodborne remaster update for December the 8th, 2023.